All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakan Kadash, the Ron, and the Elder Project, Ray Mills, don't tell me the truth, the rule will. Peace, blessings, I take my third, scattered about the four on the earth, that's the truth, not to the truth, the city. So I say Shalom, so I keep about that, I'm in the car. Um, yeah, this is going to be a. Uh, this is gonna be a, a video about what the, it says. The title is "What if they force you to take to, to see him?" Okay, you know, basically, Jake. Jake just don't have no faith when it comes down to him, man. Jake truly don't have faith in Yahweh by Shemayim Shai, and Jake truly is not reading the scriptures, man. Because if you read the scriptures, you know, you that um you shouldn't be wavering, man. You shouldn't be scared. You know, the things in these scriptures are basically to run to warn us, you know, to give us a heads up for us to prepare ourselves mainly spiritually in the most part and to grow our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, like it says in Romans 15 and 4, the things are written for our first time, are written for our fourth time, are written for our learning. So these scriptures are written for us to, to learn, you know, to help build us up, you know, you know, to give us comfort, you know, and Jake, Jake ultimately, they just, they just don't have it, and Jake is not reading. That's why the scriptures say, "Blessed is he that readeth." Okay, you have to read. Okay, you read these different accounts that happens that's happened in the scriptures, man. That's happened throughout history. Okay, and then that should that should help you. Um, that should help grow your faith. You know, if you truly believe in what you're reading. You know, and Trey and Jake don't truly believe in what they're reading, man. Okay, because Jake is, you know, they 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 after the flesh, man. They're not after the spirit. Now, yeah, we're all in the flesh. You know, yeah, we have our moments in the flesh, but ultimately, man, we're 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 trying after the spirit of Yahweh, but Yahweh Shai, man. You know, we understand that these things are supposed to happen, these things are going to happen. But at the end of the day, our trust is in Yahweh, but Shai to deliver us from these things. So I'm gonna grab this. This is uh, Revelations uh, 13 and 16. This says, and He calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads, okay? And this is talking about the RFID, CHIP. That's what I mean, so I get the RFID, CHIP, okay? You know, that's that's what this, 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 this is pertaining to, okay? You know, that's that's what the MOTB is. And whoever is saying otherwise is just, is just, is just a liar, okay? And they're not truly, they're not truly a prophet of Yahweh by Shem Yon Shah. And they're not writing a vision, playing upon the table like it says in Hebrew, okay? And it says that he causes all the like in Verse 17 it says that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the, or the name of his beast or the number of his name. Yeah. So you got Jake that read this, you know, you know, and it will get scared. Because it says if you don't have the uh, the mark, then you, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, you know. So... You know, Jake, Jake, you know, you got Jake who probably be in that, uh, you know, relying on what they can store up, you know, and then once that runs out, then they going to be, well, what's next? Okay, what do we do now? Or they're not going to be able to, to go in certain establishments or, you know, they're going to, you're going to be completely excommunicated out of, of, of this society if you don't perform and bow down, bow down to what he wants you to do, which is to basically put that, that she hip up in your body, but that's okay because we we're 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 putting our trust in Yahweh Shemuel Shai, and we have the scriptures to, to say that what the Lord is going to do for us in, in in these bad times that we're going to be in. Okay, so let me grab this real quick. This is uh Sirach 12 and 10. It says, "Never trust thy enemy, for like his iron rust his soul is wickedness." Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take heed, take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou <laughs> shall like him. It says, be unto him as if thou hast wiped away, wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. So, yeah, basically the point is never trust our enemy. Who is our enemy? Our number one enemy is Esau Adam, the so called white man. That's our number one enemy. So you're not never supposed to trust them, no matter how bad things get. Okay, you never don't, you never conform to them, never trust them. We have to be in that mindset that our forefathers were, okay, during the time of Nebuchadnezzar, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. 
okay, when when you heard that sound of the, the trumpet, you know, you're supposed to uh, bow down to the, ne- the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, but our forefathers had that mindset that they, they wasn't going to bow, okay? They, they held on to their integrity, okay? They they kept the faith. They said, Rather, whatever you got to do to us, you know, if, if, if death comes with it, then that's what it's going to be. But they said, we're not going to worship you, and that's the type of mindset we have to have. And what happened? They... Nebuchadnezzar tried to throw them in that in that, that fiery hot furnace. You know, he said it made it hotter. I can't remember exactly how I said, but basically they made it hotter than it's ever been. Okay? And threw them in threw them in, in there and what happened? They were they were they were unharmed. Okay? They they didn't have no burnings on them or nothing like that. They were good. So that's the type of power that we have on our side and that's the type of power that we have to believe in. So no matter what he comes with, which solutions he comes with, never trust him. Okay, put your trust in your eye by some kind of a shot. Where have you got the shot? Oh, you have this. Psalms 55 and uh, 21. It says, the words of his mouth were sp- or that his mouth were smoother than butter, for war was in his heart. His words were soft than oil, yet were they drawn sword. And yeah, okay. He's going to try to make the, the sea of seem all cool, you know, with his technology, okay. But don't, don't, you know, don't fall for it. You know, Jake should, Jake should always, Jake should already know this, man. You know, yeah, we do these videos, you know, to exhort brothers, you know, to, you know, to help build them, build their faith up. But ultimately, Jake, you should already know that this man does not have our best interest at heart. And then, what do you, what you mean if they force you? Yeah, ultimately, the Lord put you in that predicament where you where you end up getting MOTB. And ultimately, the Lord is not for you. You're not, you're not on the side of your high bishop, your shot. Okay, the, the Lord wants, has, has something stored up for you, which we which we know. Because we understand if you take that, take that, uh, see him. If you go over to the next chapter, Revelation 14, starting at verse 9, okay, you you, you get the uh, the consequences for taking it. So you shouldn't even be in that mindset of oh, what you mean we forced. You should you should you should be having your mind set on uh, deliverance. You know, being saved out of certain situations, ultimately being saved and protected by your how about your shine. That's what your mindset should be at. And if that's what your mindset is not at, then might not be one of his, you know, so yeah, he, he, he has that war in his heart, he's going, he's going, you know, he's going to, you know, talk his little shit, but so what, you okay, just continue to have faith in your house, but you know, shot, you know, and the Lord's going to take care of the rest, let me come over here, Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, How behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed, man. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And it shall how for vexation of spirit. Yeah, so we're going to be all right, man. If you're a true servant of Yahweh, Shimon Shai, we're going to be all right. The Lord is going to protect us. The scriptures say in Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord can have to run about them that fear him. So we'll continue, we'll continue to fear your heavenly Father and do what he's asked us to do, you know, doing his will, and we're going to be okay. But see, Jake, if, if you guys, if you don't, if you, if you out here wearing a waiver, then you you're not doing what you're supposed to do for the Lord. And you don't and you don't truly have that faith. And with and without faith it's impossible to please your how about some young child. Okay, because that's that's how we're justified. We're justified by our faith. You know, that was the point of your how shot coming 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 back, you know, when he came as your how shot, you know, and going through what he had to go through for us. You know, that was that was the whole point of, of, of that. Y'all shot sacrifice for us to be justified by faith, by believing, believing in him, that he's the true son 
of, of the Heavenly Father. And that he came, you know, to, to bring us back. You know, that's that's basically it. As long as we have faith in Yahweh Shanti, we're good. But see, Jake, 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 you know, Jake is carnal, man. Jake got to see things, you know. That's what it is. Jake got to, Jake, Jake, see, the Jake, even some Jake that do, they read it. But they 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 gotta they gotta see it, you know. They have to have some type of uh, some type of reassurance, you know. And that's not how the Lord works. Okay, you just gotta have faith and just wait for the Lord to do what He's gonna do. Let me grab this. This is Matthew six and uh, twenty five. It says, "Therefore I say unto you, take no thought." For a matter of fact, let me start at 24. It says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve. <laughs> so, like, you cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Yeah. Well, else me that Mammon goes into money. But, yeah, you can't serve two masters. You can't think that if you call yourself an Israelite, but you, have, you, you say that you were conformed or made, uh, to take the sea up, and you still don't serve the Father. It don't work like that, you know. You know they can put that 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 device up in you, you know. And that's saying you know, it's basically um, you know, messing with your spirit, you know. You know, making you uh be an unbeliever. With only that set up through the Heavenly Father, if that happens to you, but you know, you know that can happen. That's a possibility. You know, also if you take the mark, then you do anyway. But yeah, you can't be in a house of thinking, yeah, I, you know, I, you know, Jake, I get it, and I just take it off. I'm just getting it just for right now. I don't worry about that. Once you get that, it's through. Ain't no coming back from it. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to read. This is verse 25. It says, Therefore I said to you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink. Nor yet for your, nor yet for your, for your body, we shall put on is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment. It says, Behold, the fathers of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? It said it says, Which of you by taking, taking thought can add unto the cube of his stature? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know. Your, your your height, you know. Can you can you think about being tall and it just happened? Basically, the answer is no. It says, and why take ye thought for raiment? You know, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They they toil not, neither do they do they spin. It says, and yet I say unto you that it says that even Solomon in all his glory, so like you. It says that Solomon, all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. It says, Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? It says, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need of these things. So the, Yahweh Shemesh knows what we need. Okay, he knows what, he knows what we're going through. He knows the predicament that we're in. Okay, because okay, he's the one who's, who's going to be having this in these situations. Because it's all a test at the end of the day. It's a test of our faith, man. It's a test to see what we're going to do. You know, don't worry. And basically just saying don't worry about how we going, you know, how we going to eat. You know, how we going to. You know how we gonna get through stuff. Don't worry about. Basically, don't don't worry. Okay, the Lord is gonna take care of it. Okay, that's why I say, if you have little faith, if you have little faith, if you don't believe that the Lord can can feed you or make a way for you that or get some water, man. Yeah, he gave you a, a example. He gave you an analogy. So the fowls of the air. You know they don't they don't stock up. They're not out here going to stores stocking up, um, building stuff. No. They they are they're they they get their daily their daily food. They go by a day to day basis, and that's how we ha that's how we have to be, you know, when things are in those times, you know. 
That's why when you Matthew six, it goes up, and, and you have the prayer. You know, give us this day our daily bread. Okay, the Lord is going to look out for us. Let me grab this. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. It says, Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no ill thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Yeah. So as long as we can keep the commandment of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we're going to be okay. Okay, the Lord is not going to allow you to, 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 to be fucked up out here. Okay? And I'm going to grab this last scripture and I'm going to close out. This is my favorite scripture. This is Sirach. 2 and 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his spirit and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, man. So we have, we, that's why it says that in Romans 15 and 4, the things are written for a first time and for a learn. Look at, look at our forefathers, man. They are our examples. Okay, did any ever trust in the Lord and was forsaken? No. Okay, Abraham was about to sacrifice his own son. David constantly inquired of the Lord, man. You know, you had Daniel in the lions, and we have multiple examples of the of, of the Lord's men being put in situations. And what did they do in those situations? They held on to the faith, man. And that's ultimately what we have to do at the end of the day. We have to hold on to the faith, man. We have to endure until the end. Okay, we have to wait for the Lord, you know, to to, uh, to plead our cause. Okay, and He's going to do that. The Lord is going to stand up for us as long as we continue to believe in that. So that's pretty much it. Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm gonna close off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Akedash, Shalom.